Hey, I'm Anthony Romano, and today is a day in the life video. So I guess you'd call this a day in the life of a keto coach video, but uh, basically there's gonna be a lot of nuggets in this video. There's gonna be a lot of good piece of information, and I don't typically make you know vlog style videos. I mean, I've done them before in the past, made fancy ones and all that, but I want to bring this, you know, just give you the good piece of information and take you along the the way of my day uh, throughout the process. So like the video i want to set a huge goal on this one if we can get 100 likes that would make my my entire week okay so if you could please click like and subscribe that would be great and it would help me a lot so we'll get into this i'm going to show you a lot of cool tips for supplementation for nutrition training and there's probably going to be a lot of other funny bits here and there uh depending on who i hang out with today <laughs> okay so let's get into this have some sort of supplement routine going on and I'm always changing that up but there's a lot of different supplements I'll take now good little tip right off the bat is I don't actually have coffee until I'm up for a little bit of time the main reason you want to avoid coffee first thing in the morning is because you want your cortisol levels to raise naturally as a response to waking up you don't want your body to be used to having it artificially spiked via the coffee because that's going to train your body to basically only wake itself up from having coffee or caffeine or any other sort of miscellaneous stimulant okay so that's the first thing i'm gonna make my coffee soon but what i'll do before is i'll open my supplement drawer over here you know the the freaking large uh intimidating one <laughs> i'll basically decide what i'm gonna have you know depending on the day Okay, it's kind of a mess here, so bear with me. But you know, I got my, my drug dealer scale and you know, my very legit looking bottle of capsules. <laughs> and essentially, you know, I, I will mix up certain concoctions here <laughs> depending on the day. Uh, the reason this was out is because last night, a good little, another little hack for you is L-theanine in the evening time or in the daytime as well. But essentially I get this in powdered form because you know, why pay $30 for like 20 caps of L-theanine when you can get a thousand servings for like 15 bucks after shipping. So Nootropics Depot, shout out there. But basically, great hack before sleep. It's, this stuff is amazing. So that's just why I had this out uh, in the morning because I used it last night. But I'm going to get into some of the other supplementation I will do in the daytime because there is a method behind it. So yes, I did not get a haircut throughout the entire quarantine, if that's what you're wondering. But the main thing is when I open up this, you know, little supplement drawer, there's a lot of things I'll pick from. Normally, I won't take something that's nootropic heavy or like some sort of, you know, stimulant or anything like that, unless I'm fully, you know, certain I need high performance that day. Normally, I'll go for some sort of like health foundations. Okay, so example. So on days where I don't sleep particularly amazing, what I'll often do is take curcumin. Okay, this is curcumin phytosome. It's basically curcumin in a phosphatidylcholine layer. And it digests a lot better. And essentially, I can stress to you how amazing your days will go if on the days with low sleep quality, you have curcumin, okay? This is something I recommend. I just, I've been in a habit of taking it quite frequently lately, regardless of sleep quality, but I've noticed absolutely better recovery, absolutely better performance on days where I don't have amazing sleep. And overall, it's something I'm t I think is key if you're into high performance in a lot of levels. This is a foundation. It's, you know, something that is really worth your time and investment. Now, there's a lot of other things I could be taking right now. I mean, on a high performance ish day, I could go for the four scolin, you know, artichoke type of combo. Other things I've talked about. I mean, I got total focus uh, by, by Azoth over here. Sometimes a tyrosine and kelp if I need more energy. There's a lot of different things. And I always have my enzymes as well. Definitely recommend that. I mean, I got loads of these things. Okay. Now, the thing is, on a day like today, I'm gonna go stick with mainly just health foundation. So I could go for a krill oil, but one thing you always wanna be aware of 
when you are supplementing on an empty stomach is you want to make sure you're having stuff that digests well with each other. So example, if you're mixing in a lot of stuff that kind of conflicts with each other in terms of their digestion, you will have problems. So if you're, have something, if you're having something fat soluble and you're mixing it with something water soluble and then you mix in more fat soluble and then you don't even have any fats in your stomach from the morning because it's fasted, okay? That's where there's gonna be problems and you don't want that. Also, some people are sensitive to certain things on an empty stomach. Now granted, most things can be consumed on an empty stomach, but a lot of times, you know, some off the top of my head, green tea extract, don't have that on an empty stomach. There's a lot of other things. Certain vitamins are meant to be consumed with food and overall don't go crazy mixing things in the morning on an empty stomach. You want to be selective because this is where you get the highest effect because additionally things can cross the blood brain barrier better when you actually have no other conflicting supplements at the same time. So I think today what I'm going to stick with at least for starting is going to be this curcumin phytosome and this krill oil. Okay. So basically I get my supplements from a lot of different places. I test them out. Um, I'm a big fan of these brands, though. They're both available on Amazon um, if you want the links down below. But the reason I'm combining these two is because this is the curcumin in a phosphatidylcholine layer. And krill oil is basically, you know, a luxury omega-3, but it's contained in the phospholipid membrane. So basically, this is the phospholipid contained omega-3. And the digestion should be all right. Uh, between the two, I shouldn't have any problems. I mean, I've mixed them plenty of times, but whereas in the past you'd want something, you mixing a lot of other things could be problematic, right? So there we go. I plop those in a little pill container. I kind of keep that aside in the morning in case I'm mixing certain things. And another rule of thumb too that I'll tell you is, in general, I don't know why nobody talks about this, but don't mix individual amino acids in the morning if you want a certain specific effect. For example, people might mix a tyrosine right? And they might have a theanine and then they might have their BCAs in there. And the thing is when you're mixing a lot of amino acids in one, you're not going to get an isolated precise effect because what's going to happen, I, geez, I could just title this like full day of supplementation. If you want a full day of supplementation video, like the video, please. And I will make it. Uh, <laughs> cause there's a lot of different days where I could, you know, put a little, some tw interesting twists on that. But here's the thing. You don't want to be mixing lots of individual amino acids because their ability to cross the blood brain barrier is affected by combining them together. Basically your body treats it as if you had just ate food. Okay. And it's not going to experience that sort of individual amino acid crossing into the brain. Okay. So that's why it's best example again, to be selective with your morning supplements. Okay. So this is the part of the day where I put on a shirt. Just kidding. I never wear shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is the part of the day where I'll typically reply to my clients. So in case you're unfamiliar with what I do with this whole YouTube gig, uh, <laughs> I basically run a business where I do online coaching uh, with the ketogenic diet as the foundation. So for a lot of people, keto fixes a lot of problems. Okay, I've had lots of things. I've had insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, uh, brain injuries, you know, also people wanting to get shredded and stuff of that nature. But the thing is, there's a lot of different purposes of keto. And this is where I'll typically reply to my clients. Um, and that's the, the main, you know, twist that I like to offer. The main innovation is that I am responding to people within 24 hours all the time. So that's partly one of the jobs that I do. Basically, I will respond to people throughout some point in the day. And if I get some messages overnight, I always check them the next day and respond a bit. Basically the constant feedback is key and that's what I like to offer that I don't think many other people offer because that's a new level of, you know, one-to-one -one communication and it's something that is very effective because you always have that constant oversight, always have somebody steering you towards the goal and being able to make adjustments. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, go to the link down below and you can find my website and submit an application and we can have a one-on-one -on -one call and see if it's right to work together. Um, but you have to fill out the application first and, you know, got to make sure that things are, you know, there's certain criteria is met anyways. So that's a plug right there for myself. Shameless plug. Okay. And here's a little physique update too. I guess if you're into that, the main thing is keto keeps you ripped year round. And I talk about this all the time because nobody really does it and nobody does the tactics that I do. And if you watch my other videos, I'm basically lean 
year round. Okay, this is what you want. You can build on your physique from a lean starting point. Okay, so you know, I figured might as well show it because I'm talking about keto coaching. So if you're interested in these tactics, they will get you ripped and they will keep you that way effortlessly. Five minutes later. Hey Anthony, so I just came back from the chiropractor and uh, he really had a lot of good stuff to say. He was blown away. He said, oh my God, what you guys, what have you been doing? Like a bodybuilder, <laughs> all that stuff. So that tells you how much. One change I'm trying, I'm going to try to do is eat before night o'clock. From the picture, you're certainly looking beefier. You look like you're at a much healthier weight, um, but I think you already know that. And I'd say overall that uh, as far as the whey protein goes, I'm not too concerned about it. I'd say start bringing it back in if you'd like. Uh, the main thing I didn't want with the whey is I didn't want it to take away from you getting a good amount of saturated fat. Hi, Anthony. I'm excited for my trip. And I... Thank you so much. Yeah, so I'm pretty psyched. I think we accomplished my goal. Um, it's pretty awesome. All right, talk to you later. Take care. Well... So I do a lot of things with voice messages. Voice messages is the best way to stay in constant communication and uh, it's just a great way to keep in touch without having to constantly type. So if you're interested, you know, go to the link in the bio. So I tried to do some research on it, but all the stuff I've found, uh, it's just all about uh, carb-based diets, you know. Uh, So I grabbed some coffee in my Juve mug because it's a big game day today. Those of you that know me know I'm a huge Juventus fan. Basically, I come from a long line of Juventus supporters. I had no choice. Uh, but it's a good time to be a Juve fan. And I'm going to watch the game later today with some buddies. Uh, but where I'm going with this is sometimes in the daytime, if I'm, this coffee is black, okay? A lot of keto folks do the, the bulletproof coffees. I do them all the time. I've got a lot of funky varieties of them but on a day like today i don't feel like having a lot of fats in the morning i had my sure i had my krill oil and whatnot but i'm not having a lot of fats i want more water soluble nutrients i'm gonna have my vitamin c later but at that time as well i'll also sip on a little bit of kombuchas you know i basically um had some in my fridge just get a little bit of good beneficial bacteria in my gut and i always prefer to do that when i'm closer to the fasted state so if you're wondering why I'm not having bulletproof coffee today or a certain higher amount of fats in the day, I am slightly doing a bit of a cutting approach, but a lot of times my decision to have bulletproof coffee or something else is based on my goals at the time. So if I'm trying to basically just have a maintenance keto diet, sure, I'll have the bulletproof coffee. It's amazing for your health. I have an entire video on that. Grass-fed butter or ghee the fat soluble vitamins, the butyric acid, the CLA, everything is amazing for your health. And it's something that everybody can benefit from if you start having bulletproof coffee on the regular. However, on a day like today, I'm kind of orienting myself a little bit more towards a cutting approach. So I'm not gonna be having exorbitant amounts of fat, um, just appropriate amounts of fat, okay? Because again, keto is not necessarily a high fat diet. There's lots of little nuances to it. And my other videos will inform you on those practices. And these are things that you don't really need to concern yourself with you know, in the future, I have programs dropping for cutting, for keto, for health and maintenance of physique. I have different programs coming out for different purposes. And basically those will solve all the questions so that you always know what you want to do and how you want to eat in a certain day. And essentially you can just judge that based on what you want at the time. For me, I'm just trying to push a little bit more of the needle towards shredding down a little bit more, just get a little bit more sharpness in my physique. And you know, it's not a big goal for me. It's not, a, I'm not, I don't need that many more vanity goals at this point because for me, I'm already, I'm always lean anyways. It's just a little bit more because it's summer. Sure, I'll shred down a little bit more. Uh, meanwhile, normally I will just have a health oriented keto diet and essentially revolve around that. And those things will be assessed in the programs I'm dropping. For example, Keto Pro Start is going to be a lot about health and maintenance and keto shredding guides, keto bulking guides, those types of things are coming out as well. So you always know how you could eat based on your goals at the time. Okay, so it's about the time that my boy Sam's gonna come over and we're gonna work on my other job, which is mortgages. So if you're in Ontario and you need help with house financing, mortgages, anything of that nature, definitely get in contact with me, maybe through Instagram. But the thing is, that is my other job. That is what I do when I'm not doing YouTube keto stuff 
and coaching so and working on books and all other stuff I do so essentially that's what we're gonna be working on now until we go out later and watch the Juve Juventus game Champions League soccer so that's what we're gonna be working on in the meanwhile <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I'm still waiting for the video you're supposed to like. I... <laughs> it's a day in the life video, bro. Okay, game time. Big game time. Game time, boys. What's a... uh, I figured I'd get a nice shot of the cauliflower pizzas. Keeping it keto for the boys. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, hey, oh. Thank you, brother. Awesome, thank you. Come on. Oh, oh my God, what the fuck? Let's go. Come on. Yes. Cheers! Your stem was like this. Alright guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be training legs, uh, hitting arms. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, bro. That's disgusting. That's gross. Don't don't even talk to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? What was that noise? No kissing, bro. Bro. One is not enough. We got two. You know what's going to happen next? You don't want to know. Back I'm, fil I'm filming a bit for uh, for a day in the life video. Ready? So, Mr. Oakville, uh, former IVB pro, <laughs> Mr. Scrapper. Uh, Reach my coach, Simakos, and also known for uh, Sam Sanitation. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Give me, a, give me some, some commentary here. What commentary, bro? So guys, you gotta get the mind muscle connection. I don't want serious commentary, I want All you right. some commentary. So you lift this up, like this. Yeah, show me. Like this. <laughs> and that's how you tear your biceps. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that was my, like a, like a warm-up set, the pre-COVID. Holy shit. Oh, that's actually not bad. Holy shit. Feels like my wrist about to give up on me. I'm so not spotting. Jeez, bro, you went half the other Oh, me. This might be the last time. Okay, this is for like on the switch. <laughs> on the switch, nigga. On the switch. Super sad that shit. This is the key for. Biggest forearms in the world, perhaps the biggest ones in Hamilton, perhaps in the whole region. They are big forearms. Big forearms. You know why? Every day, at night time. <laughs> Bro, stop saying inappropriate shit, man. <laughs> I can't post any of this. They're fresh. They're waiting for you. you got Sam's over there hitting his nice Instagram girl workout. Outro for the video because I'm gonna plug we you guys. We did it. We did it. Instagram. We did it we for the did whole it. 35 seconds you guys appeared in the survived in the in the killed arm day. Perhaps the best arm day we've had. Perhaps. <laughs> well, I did. You never had. All right. So that was most of my day. Okay. I mean, quick little bits of the gym, a couple funny clips. Uh, not really a whole workout video today, but now I'm basically going to finish writing up some new client plans. And after that, I'm going to go to writing some of my books I'm putting out, my books and my programs. So that's basically what I do for a lot of my time. I'm writing up books and programs, and in between that, I'm writing up people's plans. And that's kind of what I'm doing. That's really the only barrier holding me back from re releasing some of these plans a little bit sooner. But essentially, they're going to be out sooner or later. And uh, I guess I'll show you some of the plans I'm writing currently. Sneak peeks.
So what you're seeing here is a preview of Keto Pro Start, which is my health and maintenance keto diet and the shred guide, which is pretty obvious. And of course, an inside look at the client plans I make. So that was basically how I finished off my night yesterday and I'm doing the exact same thing today. Uh, now I got my red light on my ankle here, old injury I had, just a little bit of inflammation I wanted to get rid of. But no, I'm just writing again. That's basically what I do most of my time and working on a, another client plan. So if you're interested, again, go to my website, RomanoKeto.com and submit an application. We'll see if we can work together. And besides that, stay tuned for lots of programs that are going to be super effective and helpful for you coming out soon. And also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy this one. I'm really looking for some positive reception on this sort of vlog style video. So let me know, you know, lots of little choppy, humorous bits here and there, but I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on getting more of these out, so let me know if you like them, and I appreciate all the feedback. Thank you very much. My name is Anthony Romano. Peace.